Well, good morning, church. Happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day. If this is your first time joining us, we just want to say welcome. We are glad that you are with us. Let's join together in worship this morning.
Let the King of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, for oh, He is my song. Cause you are good, you're good in all. Cause you are good, you're good in all. Let the King of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves, oh, he is my song. Let the King of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days, oh, he is my soul, cause you are you're good in all. You are good. You're good in all. You are good. You're good in all. You are good. You're good in gonna let you're never gonna let me down you're never gonna let you're never gonna let me down you're never gonna let you're never gonna let me down you're never gonna let you're never gonna let me down cause you are good you're good and oh You're good and all, cause you are good, you're good and all, you are good, you're good, oh, cause you are good, you're good, oh, you are good, good, oh. I'm gonna
gonna sing and I'm gonna sing in the middle of a storm louder and louder you're gonna hear my praises roar and up from the ashes hope will arise death is defeated the king is alive And I raise a hallelujah. I will watch the darkness flee. And I raise a hallelujah. In the middle of the mystery. Sing a little louder, 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 in the presence of my enemy. Sing a little louder, louder than the unbelief. Sing a little louder, my weapon is a melody. Sing a little louder, and heaven comes to fight for me. Sing a little louder, in the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder My weapon is a melody Sing a little louder Heaven comes to fight for me Sing a little louder And I'm gonna sing In the middle of the storm Louder and louder You're gonna hear my praises roar Hope will arise. Death is defeated. The King is alive. And I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder. You're gonna hear my praises roaring up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. Amen. Will you pray with me this morning? God, we praise you that you are a God that goes before us, that you are a God that is fighting for us, that you are a God that, that walks with us, that knows us. God, we praise you that you are our deliverer, that you are our savior, that it is in you that we find our strength. So God, this morning, as we hear from your word, this morning as we celebrate moms, may we remember that you are a God that, that has loved us first, that you are a God that is with us first. So God, I ask this morning that you help us to be aware of what you are doing, to be aware of how you are speaking to us, and that you would give us a heart to receive it, and a heart to listen, and a heart to believe 
that you are good. Through every season, up or down, you are good. We praise your name, Lord. It's in your name. Amen. Well, happy Mother's Day, friends. We are so glad to be with you. Welcome to Avalon Online Church. Uh, my name is Pastor Kate Paul, and this is my beautiful wife, Bethany. Good morning. And, happy Mother's uh, Day. Again, yes. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Actually, I have a Mother's Day gift for you. You do? Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of a surprise. I, I just thought, you know, uh, it, it'd be important to, to give you a very important gift. So I, I brought this, uh, this, this is for you. True love. Uh, <laughs> if you can't see it, this is an, an uncrustable. Um, but you know, it's ha Bethany, funny. happy mother. Thank you. Yeah. But can I just say? Yeah. It's funny because it's our anniversary. It and, is. And I have a special gift for you. You do? Wow. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> uncrustable love happening here in the Maurer household. Yes. yes. Hey, I have an idea. We should open these like the kids open them. No. We should open these the way that Quinn, Quinn opens them. <laughs> All right, so you ready? ready for this? You guys got to watch this. Quinn opens it like this. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> you got to squeeze. You got to oh, squeeze. squeeze. You got to squeeze. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. You know what else we should do? Um, wow, mine is falling apart. <laughs> All right, we should totally show them. How Quinn eats yeah. these. Ready? Okay. Ready? First Here we go. bite, the important bite. First. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. We got to suck it. Whoa. I just got a lot of jelly down my throat. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Oh. Wow. How does he swallow that? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Mm. We we love you all love you. very, very much. <laughs> okay, well, to begin, we need to chew my uncrustable. <laughs> to begin, Bethany, I want to just pause <laughs> and say to every woman watching this online that we see you. Mm -hmm. The truth is, whether you have children, uh, had children or not, you provide motherly love. Mm -hmm to many. For some, it's with nieces or nephews. To some, it's serving at the food pantry. To others, it's being a mentor or a nurse or even a teacher. You know, today we celebrate mothers and we celebrate that motherly love. You know, motherly love is, is a sacrificial love. It's a selfless love and it's a love that greatly um, resembles the heart of God Almighty. Oh. And so um, we celebrate that this morning. So let's pray together for those beautiful mothers. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for these beautiful 
women in our life. We pause in the midst of um, our busy lives one time specifically every year um, to thank you for these women. We thank you for these mothers, for these grandmothers, and for all these beautiful women that play roles that might not have physical children, but play and, and play that role of a mother in someone else's life. And we celebrate these women, Father. We pray for these mothers more now than than ever before. Father God, we thank you for these mothers who are superheroes. We thank you for these mothers who um, have their roles heightened in almost every way right now in this hard season of life. We pray for these mothers who are homeschooling, these mothers who are working full-time while trying to homeschool, these mothers who have um, their daily roles intensified tenfold right now. And Father God, we ask that you will be with these women and that you will empower them with strength from on high to be all that they need to be right now so that you will be glorified and that you will be at the center of their families and their homes. Father, we pray for these mothers who um, who are struggling every day in new ways because of this COVID-19 virus, Father, and how it's affecting their daily mm -hmm. lives and affecting their family. We pray for these mothers and these women who are in the hospitals, who are sick, either with the virus or with other things going on, Father. Mm -hmm. We pray that you will bring them peace. We pray for those new mothers who have brought home um, newborn babies in the recent months and are experiencing this beautiful role of a mother right now in new ways, Father. I know it's so overwhelming and joyous at the same time to be a new mother, and I pray that you will give them a peace and a joy, that you will quench their fear um, in a time where there is so much fear all around us, Father, may they find great joy in this role of a mother right now. Father, we pray for those grandmothers who are separated for their beautiful from their beautiful grandbabies. They're not able to hug them and kiss them and read them books and be with them as they so desire to be with them right now, Father. We ask that you will be with those beautiful grandmothers and that you will intervene in their hearts and their minds and show them other ways that they can reach out to their grandbabies to love them and give them hope and shine the light of Jesus into a very hard, dark time. Father, we pray for all of these women um, all over, Father, that um, they are our superheroes. And we can't imagine life without these women in, in, in our lives. And Father, we ask and we lift them up. We celebrate them. We lift them up to you, Father. And we know that you are the source of everything that we need, Father, that you are our strength, that you will lead these mothers, lead these beautiful women from strength to strength, moment by moment as they need it, moving forward in a very uncertain, difficult, hard time, Father. I pray that you will give them creativity, that you will give them passion, that you will give them patience, that you will give them endurance, that they will find joy, that you will give them moments of unbridled laughter, and that they find you at the center of everything that they do. And I pray, Father, that you will give them joy, that they will find joy, and that they will find and meet you, sweet Jesus, in the midst of their days um, during this hard time. So, Father God, we thank you. We celebrate these women. And lastly, Father, I want to acknowledge and I want to um, pray a special blessing upon those beautiful mothers who have lost children. Father, I know what it's like to lose a child, an unborn child, and the depth of the pain and the hurt and the suffering. And Father, we lift up those women to you. We ask that you will comfort their hearts. And whether it's an unborn child or a child that they got to hold briefly, uh, Father, I pray that you will comfort them and you will help them know that we see them, that we acknowledge that loss, mm. and that those children are not forgotten. 
and that someday it will be a joyous reunion when we can all celebrate together in heaven. So Father God, we, we love you. We thank you for your, your, your love, your, your mercies that are new every morning. And we thank you for these women, for these mothers, for these grandmothers. We, we pray a special blessing upon each and every one of them this morning. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. 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 You're an awesome mom. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is our final week in our series called We Need to Talk. And it's kind of funny, actually, because right now at the end of each day, Bethany and I are oftentimes needing to talk about our day. But process. we yeah, the process, process out loud our, our day. But we've been so tired lately. Uh, we've been literally just falling into bed, mumbling on, under our breath. What <laughs> just happened? <laughs> only, only then to wake up the next morning and do it all over again <laughs> yes so our conversations are a little mumbled at times our words aren't perfect but we've learned especially in these last weeks that communication is so key the truth is communication is connection when we stop communicating we stop connecting and the same is true in our relationship with our heavenly father no matter where you are today, maybe you're like us and you're exhausted. Um, and words are coming out just mumbled. You're feeling overwhelmed. If so, we want to share with you what might be one of the most unexpected, listen, unexpected and yet powerful prayers we can pray in this crazy season of life. To do that, we want to share a story with you. And it's a story... Um, of our sweet Adara, of, co of course. And one evening, well, let me backtrack with saying evenings before bed, I think probably as many of your children are a very fun time of the evening. And for our sweet Adara, going to bed is a time where she has to clear her conscience and she um, contemplates the deep things of life. <laughs> and um, one of these evenings, my mom was here visiting and putting her to bed that night, and which is always a cherished time when the grandparents are in town. And uh, she was tucking her in bed, and Adara just said, Grandma, we need to talk. Can I talk to you about something? And of course, Grandma was all ears and said, Yes, Adara. What is it you want to talk about? And she said, Grandma, I believe in God, but sometimes I kind of feel it rising up in me. Like, I don't know if I completely believe in God. Is he really who he says he is? Can I trust him? Mm -hmm. And some of those deep questions <laughs> that some of us ponder before bed at night. And my sweet mom um, listened attentively to her as she shared these heavy things weighing on her little seven-year-old heart. And her response was, Dara, you believe, but you have a little bit of unbelief and that's okay. And she said, I have some unbelief sometimes too, and it's okay. And she shared with her the verse in scripture in Mark, which we'll look at here in a minute, but it just simply says, I do believe Help me overcome my unbelief. And the freedom and the peace that my daughter felt after that is they prayed together and they talked through that it's okay to have belief and to have that faith and yet have a little bit of unbelief mixed in. And it's okay. So, um, so I think that's a powerful example of that unbelief and that belief. Um, so... Let's look. It's crazy, actually. I was just thinking it's crazy how uh, your mom was so open about her own life with, she with Adara. Was. She was. And just the power in that. Mm -hmm. that Adara needed to hear that grandma had some unbelief. Absolutely. As well. Someone that she loved yeah. and someone that she respected and looked up mm -hmm. to as a role model. And uh, so it was powerful for her. It's something that she still yeah. talks about to this day. And in fact, 
that that line, that sentence, yeah. that prayer is something we do in our house now. Yeah, it's this. This is our prayer. <laughs> this is a prayer. Yeah. that comes up at times, yeah. and Adara will say, Absolutely. "Mommy, I believe, but I'm praying about that yeah. unbelief." God help me with help my unbelief. Me with my unbelief. Yeah. So, well, you know, listen, guys, this prayer mm-hmm. it comes. Um, as we'll look about and look at in Mark nine, it's a prayer from a man, um, an honest confession of a man whose son was demon possessed. And you know, we might think we might have it rough right now in this quarantine with our kids, but this poor father was quarantined with demons that were destroying his son's life. You know, he had a pretty good understanding of the power of darkness, and day in mm-hmm. and day out, he dealt with suffering at a level. Um, that would be hard for us to even really comprehend ourselves. And, you know, here he comes with his son, and he wasn't fully convinced that Jesus had the power to deliver his son. He was tired. He was exhausted. He was probably depleted. He had tried every, probably tried every avenue possible to free his son. And so he hears about this Messiah. He hears about this great healer and deliverer who has come um, and he brings his son Hmm. and he brings him anyways. And so let's read, let's read Mark chapter nine, verse starting at verse 21. And so here Jesus comes up to this man and he asks the boy's father, how long has he been like this from childhood? He, the father answered, it has often thrown him into the fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for him who believes. Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, oh, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. So powerful. So good. So good. And in, in the same account in Matthew chapter 17, I hope you're joining us, you're grabbing your Bibles. Uh, we see the same account, but uh, from Matthew. And it reads this, Jesus' own words. He says, I tell you the truth. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So in this case, even frightened, some tiny mustard seed faith like this father had can and does move the hand mm-hmm. of God. Absolutely. Guys, a mustard seed in the Father's hands can move mountains. A mustard seed on its own, it, it can get trampled underfoot by man. So our prayers in this season, our prayers right now, our prayers as we journey through this crisis together it might sound like this. Mm-hmm. I believe that you will provide for my family. I'm gonna put that seed of faith in the Father's hand. That mustard seed, I'm gonna put that in the Father's hand. But help me with my unbelief. I believe that you will help my children go back to school safely. I'm gonna put that mustard seed of faith in the Father's hand. I believe that. But God, help me with my unbelief. I believe that you can protect our church family from sickness and fear and disunity. And and we're going to put that mustard seed of faith in the Father's hand. We're also going to say, but help us with our unbelief. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I believe that you will grow us through this great crisis. I'm going to put that seed of faith in your hand, but help us with, help us with that unbelief. We believe that you'll work through our government leaders. (laughs) We're going to put that seed of faith in the Father's hands, but help us with our unbelief. We believe that this pandemic will make us more like Jesus. We're going to put that seed in the Father's hands. But our prayer is help us with our unbelief. Mm -hmm. Earlier, we were talking about this this prayer, and uh, I told Bethany, I said, it just stands out to me that the same seed of faith that we put in the Father's hand um, is also the hand that guides us forward in our unbelief. Mm -hmm. And we can place those seeds of faith in the hand, and that hand is what will guide us forward, Mm -hmm. even in our times of unbelief. 
Finally, I'd like to speak to all those out there that believe there is a God, but you still have so much unbelief. Listen to me. He's, he's big enough to trust him with your unbelief. You know, Jesus, in the, in the passage that we read, Jesus didn't shame the father for his unbelief. Jesus was big enough to handle his unbelief. Therefore, he met him at his greatest time of need. Yeah. Today, the message that we, we have for you in our home with our uncrustables right next to us. <laughs> um, listen, the message we have for all of you this morning is that today, today is the day to believe. Mm -hmm. Today is the day to put those seeds of faith in the Father's hands. Right. And trust him like never before. Today is the day to believe. Mm -hmm. And ask God to help with your unbelief. Mm -hmm. Look at me, everybody. Uh, we hope that you will join us and that that same prayer will come into your home mm -hmm. as it has into ours. Yes. That we can take those areas of faith and place them in the Father's mighty hands. Mm -hmm. And in that same motion we can grab that hand and he can lead us forward in our unbelief would you pray with us let's let's just bow our heads together and let's pray together as one father this morning i think of all those areas of our lives right now that are filled with fear they're filled with confusion that are filled with filled with frustration where we're overwhelmed i just pray that god we take those those areas of our lives and we place just even a seed of faith in your hand and trust you and say, we believe, help us with our unbelief. Those seeds of faith in our family, those seeds of faith in our marriages. And I just, Lord, I, I think you're, you're wanting to say this morning that there's many marriages this morning that need to hear this, that need to place those seeds of faith in your hand and say, we believe. Help us with our unbelief. Lord, I think of um, our workplaces. I think of um, um, those dealing with unemployment. I think of those dealing with financial crisis. I just pray that we take the seeds of faith connected to these areas of our life and we put them in your hands and we say, God, we believe. Help us with our unbelief. Make this our prayer, Lord, that we can come to you. There will be no shame. There will be no rejection, but that you will hear that prayer and you will guide us forward. And Father, for those of us, um, uh, you, know, you know, Father, who they are, that, that um, you love them very much, but they've yet to trust you with their life, trust you with their heart. And maybe you're listening now and, and, and you feel that nudge in your heart. You're just ready. You're ready to, you're ready to trust him. You're ready to say, I believe. I have unbelief, but I also have belief. And if that's you this morning, and you're ready to say, I believe, and you're ready to say, help me with my unbelief, you might pray this prayer after me. Father, I believe in your son, Jesus. I believe in what he did for me on the cross. He forgave me for my sins. He gives me life through his resurrection. I believe, and God, help me with my unbelief. For the rest of us, I pray this morning that we would get honest about those areas of our life where we're trusting fear more than we're having faith, where we are trusting ourselves more than we're trusting God. And I pray that wherever those seeds of faith have been put in different places, that we would identify those seeds and put them back in the Father's hand and say, God, we believe. We believe. Help us with our unbelief. May that be our prayer, Father. We love you. And we just commit this teaching. We commit these words into your mighty hands, your beautiful hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say it together. Amen. Well, once again, happy Mother's Day.
to each and every one of you. We love you. Next week, we begin a new series called Becoming Who We Are, which is a series in the book of Ephesians. It's about the calling of the church and what that means for the formation of her people. It's a series you won't want to miss. It's timely, and I believe that God inspired this series for a time such as this. By the way, will you help us by inviting your friends, inviting your family, inviting your coworkers? There, listen, there has never been an easier time to invite people to church than this moment that we are living in. So help us like everything that we put out on our Facebook page, share those sermons, um, invite others to, to do a watch party, if you know what that means on Facebook, but help us get the word out. It is making a difference. Thank you in advance for responding and helping. I also wanna say thank you to every single person in our church that has been so generous with your giving. We know it is a tough time, but you are shining brightly through your generosity. And no matter how big or how small your gift is, it is making a tremendous difference in getting hope to our community through God's love. Finally, we just want to say again, uh, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. We'll see you tomorrow at 820 for 820 prayer. We love seeing you there on our Facebook page. And finally, we see you. You matter to us. Mm -hmm. You matter to God. And we'll see you soon. We love you. We Happy love Mother's you. Day. Happy Mother's Day.